Whether you're the ambition one or you have a friend or a boyfriend, girlfriend that's like, you gotta learn how to snowboard, this video is for you. I'm gonna literally teach you how to snowboard in 10 minutes. So Cody, start the timer and let's get into this. I'm gonna cover a lot in this next 10 minutes. So you might have to watch this back or maybe one section might stand out to you. But at the end of the day, we're learning how to snowboard in 10 minutes. Okay, first things first, we got to strap into the board. It's really basic, really simple. Your foot goes in and then you feed these guys in like this and then you crank it. That's all you gotta do, feed it in. Crank it. Make sure your heel is back and that's gonna make that whole process a lot easier. Once you get one foot in, it's not gonna hurt to kick around. Just to break down kicking real quick, you want to have your foot behind your snowboard, not in front of it. In front is a really awkward kick. Behind is gonna give you a really strong balance kick. Your weight is over the foot that is in, kicking with your back foot. And that's how you're gonna kick around on your snowboard. Strap in, kick around a little bit, you're gonna feel so awkward. Once you do that, it's time to fully strap in. You could sit down like these people that are all sitting down strapping in, or I like to kind of make myself a shelf. I'm gonna put my other foot in, make sure my heel's all the way back. And now I'm gonna fully strap in. Now we're snowboarding, we have two edges. We have our toe side edge and our heel side edge. You gotta find out whether you're a regular or goofy rider. And the way we're gonna do that is one, if you already skateboard, the way you ride skateboarding should answer that for you. But essentially we're going to just use our heel side edge and then we'll eventually kind of get comfortable going one direction and we're gonna decide like whether we're regular or goofy. So we're gonna first start with what is known as the heel slide. Let me get to the right spot. Okay, so the heel slide, is this position right here. My toes are pointing towards the air. I got a little bend in my knees. I'm kind of squatting down and my chest is up. This is a heel slide going down the mountain like this. Now, eventually, if I want to go faster, I kind of give myself a little bit of angle and I'm going this way. And then I can put the board 90 with the fall line. The fall line is if I took a ball and put it on the mountain, which way the ball would roll. That's your fall line. That's going to give you speed. Sometimes we want to fight that. Sometimes we want to go with that. But I'm going to be on my heel side edge. I'm fighting the fall line right now. I can go 90, that guy almost hit me. I can go this way. We also want to start on a bunny hill, a nice mellow run like I'm on right now. We don't want to go straight to the hardest thing we can find. But the more angle you give yourself, the faster you're going to go. You want to slow down, bring that board 90 degrees to the fall line. Once you've mastered the heel slide, which is technically falling leap, we want to move to what we call a J turn. Now a J turn is when we're going to take the board, we're going to put it directly down the mountain. We're on our heel side edge, and then we're going to Stop. Now the way we do that is once we put the board straight down the mountain, and we're going, I'm going to keep this back foot flat. I'm going to lift the toes on my front foot. Some people call it opening the door. Essentially, we're leaving this foot flat and we're picking the toes up on just the front board and moving this knee forward like this. And that's going to create our turn. So we're going down, back foot flat, lifting the toes on the front one. Boom pulls me around and I'm stopped. Now we gotta do that with toe side. Now with toe side, you can go back to the falling leaf and do toe side falling leaf. So I'm on my toes. So I can go this way until I feel uncomfortable. Then I can stop by putting that board 90 degrees against the fall line. Then I can turn my head and I can go this way with my toes. And then I can stop. And we will work and practice on that toe side edge. Now, once again, we go in both directions. So whatever direction you feel the most confident in, it's probably your direction of riding. Regular riders are left shoulder folder, left shoulder forward. Goofy riders are right shoulder forward. All right, so now we can do a toe side J turn, which is the same thing. We're gonna point down the fall line, gain speed, boom. Now how we do that is we keep the back foot flat and then we press onto our toes on the front foot. The back foot stays put we press with the front foot. So on our toes, flat foot in the back, press on my toes, pulls me around. Now, when we're doing these falling leap drills and J-turn drills and stuff, our body position does matter. We wanna be in a stacked position, shoulders over knees, over toes, our belly button, essentially over whatever edge we are on. So if I'm on my heel side edge, my belly button is centered over that edge. I'm not bending over like this, staring at my feet. Like this is a horrible way to be doing it. Get that chest up, belly button back. Same thing with the toe side. If I'm on this edge and I'm riding, you know, I got the bend in my knees, my belly button is forward, not bent over and reaching through the ground and leaning back is a horrible position to be in. Centered 
on the snowboard. So once we've learned how to falling leap on our toes and our heels, and we've learned how to do J-turns on our toes and our heels, it's time to snag an evolution sticker. It supports the dream. I'm helping you guys out. Get a sticker, support the dream. Heck yeah. All right, we're gonna now link the J-turns and turn them into what we call an S-turn. An S-turn is when you officially start snowboarding. So the way we're gonna S-turn is we are going to use that same motion to enter into the J-turns to initiate our next turn. So if I'm on my heels, and I'm riding down, and I want to go to my toes. I'm going to keep this back foot flat, press down on my board. It's going to put me into that S turn. Same thing. I want to go back to my heels. I'm going to keep this foot flat. I'm going to lift my toes up. It's going to put me this way. Press that lead foot down. It's going to bring me this way. Lift that lead toe up. It's going to bring me this way. And I'm going to go across the fall line to control my speed, meaning I'm going to go this direction. I don't ride off into the trees. What we're doing is we're initiating all of our turns with our front lead foot. What we're not doing is splashing, splashing, splashing our back foot because that's going to cause you to catch an edge and eat it. So once again, we're going to be initiating with our front foot, pressing it down to go to our toes, lifting it up to go to our heels, pressing it down to go this way. And at this point, you really are snowboarding. We're not here to just basic snowboard. Let's start to rip. So if you want to go faster, you take these long cross mountain turns and make them go straighter. So that you initiate those turns faster. Faster and more straight you go down the mountain, the faster you're going to go. And honestly, the last thing I got to say about how to snowboard in 10 minutes is hit the subscribe button. But honestly, it's really managing your expectations because you might not be able to get to S turns your first day. You might just learn the falling leaf or you might just learn one of the J turns. You might be absolutely terrified of your toe side turn, but essentially that is the basics of snowboarding. That is how you learn to snowboard in 10 minutes. I hope it helped you drop a comment on other things that you are struggling with. Or if I forgot something, guys, help out the beginners, drop a comment down below on how to snowboard in 10 minutes. And as always, thank you so much for sharing with me today. And as always, Thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It's daily on this channel. We do do stuff like this. Damn.